Hi, I'm Greg Watanabe. The Last Airbender. Maybe you've seen it. If you have, my condolences. <laughs> Maybe you've heard about some of the controversy surrounding The Last Airbender. About some of the angry Asian Americans protesting because of all the white people cast as Asian characters. Maybe you went to go see it anyway. <laughs> if that's the case, then screw you. <laughs> no. Besides, what better punishment than having to sit through and watch The Last Airbender? <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those angry, bitter Asian American men whining about how non-Asians are always telling jokes about how small our penises are and how we should go back to where we came from and uh, chick dog, chick dog, ho, 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 ho. See, now that might make some people angry, but that's not me. I'm not that guy. No. I'm the calm voice of reason. See, for me, I like watching white people parade around in Asian costumes, mispronouncing their Asian names and doing horrible kung fu. Because to me, that says, we've arrived. Tonto, Scarface, the jazz singer, not the Neil Diamond one, the, the, uh, the hello my baby, hello my darling, hello my ragtime gal, <laughs> that one. <laughs> We've become part of a great American tradition. People of color being played by white people. Now, some people have said to me, hey, we live in a post-racial society. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds a lot like, hey, Chinaman, shut the hell up. <laughs> See, I prefer to think of it as, anybody can become anything. I mean, Barack Obama's president of the United States. So who better to play Asian characters than white people? I mean, it's just like all those Asians that you see playing white characters. <laughs> like... You know what's funny? The Last Airbender is based on an animated series called Avatar The Last Airbender. But they had to change the name because of you know, Avatar! <laughs> the one with all the big blue people in it. Avatar is about a white guy who becomes a blue guy in order to save all the blue people from the white people. It's blue face. Didn't you love that scene where all the white people are in blue people bodies playing basketball in order to learn how to become better blue people? <laughs> because you know how those blue people love their basketball. And they're so good at it. So anyway, thank you Hollywood. And keep up the good work. Because there's a whole generation of young Asian Americans who don't even know what a glass ceiling is yet. <laughs> and when they go see your movies, they can hunch down underneath that glass ceiling and say, Hey, look, I've got a ceiling. 